Hello everyone, Jeff again, one more time, this time with feeling. Um, I got an email from my good friend Russ, who would help me so much with this uh, Telefunken stereo unit. It's, yep, it's another one of these videos again. Um, and he was able to kind of, sort of, translate a page in the service manual, this page right here. And he was able to get some some keywords translated for me dealing with this mechanism, which I recognized on the underside of this uh, of this record player. So, um, but I was able to get the dial to turn. You can see I, I was able to move it over to 33. Oops! But I couldn't get it to go to 45. And I kept playing with it and playing with it on the underside and I was able to get this to switch to 45 so uh, let me hold on a second let me take this platter off one more time to show you what I've got going on here and I figured out a fix for this unit uh, geez I don't know how I'm gonna do this one-handed though uh, okay basically if I push down on this and turn this knob I'm able to move it up I like I can move this to 45 but I can't do this while I'm holding the camera <laughs> so all right hold on I gotta set this down one second hold on okay you heard that click, I'm sure. And now you can see the dial is in the 45 position. And you can see that the idler wheel is down to the next step. Now, for me to turn it back to 33, it does it just fine. But to go up, I would have to push it and turn it. So, here, let me do it. Let me do it again here. Take a look out the window here while I turn this. There we go. And it works just fine. So it would almost be like having to change the belt when you want to <laughs> listen to a 45 instead of a 33 on here. And with some cajoling, I was able to get it all the way up to 78. So but if I want to go back down to 33, as you can see, watch this, as I turn the dial here, you can see it move. So in that regard, this is something I can live with and I can deal. So thank you, Russ, for um, your help once again. And it's uh, it just put an idea in my head of just playing with it, and it worked. Okay, so I did some tests, and once again, you can tell I, I haven't reinstalled this in the cabinet yet. I've got it plugged into the wall, and I was actually plugged into the wrong. Uh, I was actually plugged into the wrong uh, socket in the stereo. I was plugging them in here, and it really was supposed to be over there. But that's neither here nor there. Point being, I have a junky record that I did a test on. And I'm going to play this for you right now because I did a test. You can see the arm is going in auto. I'm going to let it go this time. And you two better not bust me for playing music and, and testing this thing. It's at max volume right now. It has to be up all the way for you to hear it. I had to play around with the controls 
I've got the bass button pressed, the jazz button pressed, and the bass and treble basically turned all the way up. And this is, this is the sound I get. The speed seems to be correct on that. And it does put out sound. Not room shaking, earth shaking sound, but sound. So, there you go. I think I got this thing fixed and running and done. Of course, all I would have to do is, is reinsert that record player into the cabinet. But, not bad, huh? This is the OJs, by the way. Yeah, it's record's not in the best shape. Perfect candidate for testing, but... It puts out decent sound. I'll give them that. So I'm happy. There you go. All right, guys. Well, I think this project has come to an end. Like I said, I'll remove it from this little temporary table, put it back in this cabinet where it belongs. I'll have to uh, re-splice the power cord so I'm able to fit it all back behind there. And then uh, put the back panel back on and put it in place and enjoy the music. So uh, I think I got it. I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, the way it turned out and the way it sounds. So hopefully this video won't be blocked because of the music. Hopefully uh, you guys can uh, share in my happiness right now with uh, getting this thing finally back together, finally in complete working order. Uh, it's been a journey, but um, yeah, I, I couldn't have done this without uh, the help of Russ. Uh, Morphous Audio is his channel, and um, yeah, it's uh, I got lucky with this record player and, and figuring it out finally for myself. At least I was able to do something myself on this thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think we got a, a winner here, folks. All right. Peace, everyone. And once again, I will talk to you soon. Today was supposed to be another uh, day I was going to make a contest video, and that got pushed aside again. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, this took a little bit of precedence. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to cut it short here. I'm going to keep this a short video. Thank you again for watching. If you've been watching all along, I appreciate it. Thank you, and uh, I will talk to you again soon.